most favorable conditions for microbial growth in a clean room. In the pharmaceutical industry, the end is to produce a drug that will help humanity in either promotion of health status, amelioration of the disease condition or palliating a chronic illness. For this cause, the pharmaceutical companies provide for themselves a conducive place to make drugs. These special places have something in common, cleanliness and therefore called clean room. Clean rooms are the most sterile places in drug production industry. Its function in keeping drugs as good as they should be is not to be overemphasized. But what happens if the so-called clean room is not sterile? What if they are contaminated by microbes? But then, what could even make microbes grow in such a sterile place? A lot of factors. You know that microbes are ubiquitous and therefore can survive in very stringent conditions. Let's examine them in very simple terms. 1. Relative humidity. This is the ratio of water content in an environment humidity of a place to that of atmospheric humidity. If the relative humidity of clean room at left to be high, then it will help the microbes to thrive very well. You may ask how water content affect the growth of microbes. It is due to the importance of the oxidation reduction process. You know that in the microbial physiological process, there must be an exchange of electron transfer. So you see, how important it is. 2. Temperature. As a scientist, you know that sunlight is the prime of all lives but then the temperature is the perimeter of sunlight. The temperature of the environment affects the enzymatic reactions of every living organism, therefore, regulates the metabolism of microbes. All temperature range is suitable for different groups of microbes. But clean room should set its temperature range at extreme temperatures because there are few microbes that could thrive there. 3. Nutrient. All that most microbes need is a carbon source and a small amount of nitrogen comb other trace elements. Most pharmaceutical materials are composed of primarily carbon element. Where the clean room is not clean enough or may be containing some debris of formulated drugs, a microbe can grow on it and multiply rapidly to contaminant other places in the clean room. Another terrific thing about microbes is that they have the ability to change 5 carbon compound to 6 carbon compound and vice versa. Some microbes can also tolerate ethanol. Some microbes, because they can degrade some pharmaceutical products can be found in the clean room. 4. pH. This is the degree of acidity or alkalinity of a place, substance or living thing. Ideally, microbes can be divided into acid-loving, acid-tolerant, basic-tolerant and basic-loving. The ability of a microbe to survive is dependent on the pH. If a clean room which supposed to be acid is eventually alkaline, 5. Oxygen. Microbes use many in the metabolism of the nutrient for the generation of energy. Aerobic microbes which are commonest in nature around human habitations need oxygen. When oxygen is sufficient in clean room which already had microbes, the microbes will be favored and therefore will be much contamination. Oxygen is essential because it helps microbes in the oxidation reduction reactions. 6. Pressure. The pressure of a place affects the health and growth of microbes. A pressure that is very high does not encourage growth. Most times, it is recommended that clean room is kept under high pressure when not in use. This is to discourage the growth of microbes introduced there by workers. Inasmuch as we know that these factors affect the microbial contamination, it is multiple hurdles in the sense that the presence of one positive factor does not guarantee the thriving of microbes if the other's factors are not present or positive. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also hit the bell icon to get regular updates. Thanks for watching this video. Watch more videos as we have created a lot of videos for pharmaceuticals.